After watching this video, you will know the meaning of 3S plus 2S equals 5S, why standardizing is so important, what to standardize, how to sustain, the 5S challenge. Hi, I'm Mike Micklewright. In our previous video training sessions covering the topic of 5S, we learned how to properly set an order and shine, and of course inspect, during a 5S event. The tendency at this point is to want to move on to another area within the facility because of the euphoric feeling of what we just accomplished is so dramatically different and improved, and do I dare say it, it's so darn beautiful. So the tendency is to skip over the last two S's altogether, standardize and sustain, and move on to another area. The tendency might also be to skip this video altogether because the subject matter is not nearly as fun as the first three S's. And oh yeah, we're going to have to get management involved to do their part. You must try as hard as possible to avoid avoiding standardize and sustain. Why? Well, because of what we've been focusing in on so much throughout the entire video series, the elimination of waste. You see, all of your efforts thus far will be wasted if you don't standardize and sustain your accomplishments. You will find yourself completing another 5S project in the near future because you will have reverted back to your old ways and your old messes. Now this would have been considered excess processing, one of those eight wastes that we've talked about. You see, your first 5S effort would have been considered non-value added because it would not have been done right the first time which is one of the three criteria for value-added activities. So, in this training video, we will cover the all-important steps four and five of the 5S process, standardize and sustain. These two steps, even though they are uniquely different, do overlap quite a bit, so it makes sense covering them in the same video.